Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your Love Connection reading for December. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by. Whether you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Gemini, this is your Love Connection reading. This is for a connection you have with a person. can be any kind of connection in any situation, but you have to have an actual connection. So, if there's somebody that you like, but they have no clue who you are, this probably isn't for you. I do a singles reading. You may want to watch that one. I do that one monthly also. So we're going to look at here, um, you and your person, how you're feeling about each other, how you're feeling about the connection. We'll look at the actual situation. We'll look at your advice. And then we'll look at possible outcome. And we'll clarify with more tarot. And we'll have some oracles with this also. So we'll see what's going on here for you, Gemini. So I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy December. All right, so Gemini, please take what resonates, throw away the rest, um, switch the any energies anytime you see fit. Okay, so let's see, Gemini, 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 can we get a card for Gemini? See uh, some of you who you may be dealing with, we may get a sign, element, or planet. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. This is sort of a little extra bonus, feel that one. All right, so let's see what we have for Gemini. Virgo, Earth. So some of you could be dealing with the Virgo. If you're not, totally fine. Maybe you know you have Virgo in your chart, or maybe they have Virgo heavily in their chart. If their sun sign um, is not Virgo, they could have it somewhere else. It could be their moon sign, their Venus sign. It could be any sign in their chart. All right, so... So what I'm going to do now is get an overall energy between the two of you, overall love energy, connection energy between the two of you, Gemini. All right, Gemini, let's see. What is the energy like between you and your person that you're thinking of at this time? What is the energy like between Gemini and their person at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Conclusion. Okay, so... And we have two there, which is three, which is a very, uh, three is a very social number. It's also about coming together, working together, uh, compromise, um, teamwork. So it could be, it doesn't necessarily have to mean it's the ending of a relationship. It could just mean that um, maybe now you're finally together and it's like the conclusion of finally being together. Now you've finally written your book and now you're finally together. So we'll see what the conclusion is here. Um, for some of you, it could be the ending of a situation or it could be just finally completely coming together. It's been a hard journey. I know a lot of work with the three there. And uh, now we can say that we've finally concluded the story by coming together is how I want to say it. So we'll see, we'll see here. So let's get, I'm gonna call this side you Virgo, uh, Virgo, okay, <laughs> Gemini. Call this side you Gemini and the side your person, whoever they may be. If at any time you feel like, no, this is me, that's them, then please do switch, switch around the energies, male, female, doesn't matter, it's all just energy. All right, so let's see how you are feeling. One for you and one for the other side at this time. All right, so let's see how you're feeling about them and the connection, the moon. And we have five there, which is about change. So the moon can talk about very deep feelings, love and emotions, listening to your gut and your intuition, or it can be about secrets and not seeing things clearly, things coming to light, secrets coming to light. But five there with change, I don't know. We'll see, when your person has forbidden. Mm. So we have 18 there, which is nine, and nines can be about, you know, coming to the end of a cycle, conclusion. It can be about wishes and dreams coming true. It can be about the wounded warrior, but you keep fighting on. It can be about stress, anxiety. <sighs> forbidden. So you may be a forbidden person to them. Are you, one of you I feel like is in a secret relationship with the other and um, it's forbidden. And maybe you're just saying, you know what, I think it's time this has to come to an end. Something needs to change here. You could be telling your person something needs to change. I no longer want to be the forbidden person. 
I no longer want to be your secret. So either you need to end something or I'm walking away and ending this as in with the conclusion. Hmm. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And we have Grove here, which is the three again, which is about, you know, three, 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 definitely could be third party here. And you, Gemini, you're even three. We got three threes. Grove, let me just look up uh, 21. I just want to see what Grove has to say. Uh, let's see. Now is the time to apologize to anyone you have harmed. Make your friendships whole again and choosing healing over anger and pain. Choosing my beautiful grove is a powerful sign that you are a wondrous and strong. You are at a wondrous and strong time in your life. Show compassion and kindness to others. No one is perfect yet imperfection is perfect as it is. If you are hurting, know that it will pass and that I will watch over you. If someone you love is hurting, take this time to be there for this person. The sacred grove heals all aches and pains, especially a heart that has been wounded. Okay. So it could be that one person here is stuck in a third party situation with the other, or the other has found out that their person has been in a third party situation. Maybe that's come to light with the moon energy here, but there can be healing here, whether it's just you on your own or healing with this person could be choosing to end it with this person or giving them the ultimatum, you know, end that or I will leave um, or end that and we'll see if we can heal the situation. So definitely a lot of threes here. So let's see what's going on. Let's get some tarot on this. See what's going on for you, Gemini. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. If your person's not a Virgo, it could be that, that the third party is a Virgo. If there is a third party, and it doesn't necessarily have to be another person. It can be work. It can be spending too much time with friends. It can be addictions, obsessions, playing too many video games or whatever here. If it's not another person, we'll see. So what is the, why is the moon here for Gemini? Why is the moon, that's way too many. Why is the moon here for Gemini? Why is the moon here for Gemini? The Wheel of Fortune. So that's Sagittarius energy it doesn't have to be. So this is fate, destiny, things moving in the right direction. Things, you know, turning in your favor. Destiny, you know, it's the Wheel of Destiny and Fate. Hmm. You know, maybe you felt like you were fated and destined to be with this person. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to clarify that, why that would be there for you with the moon energy. That's like two different energies to me. I'm getting that, you know, secrets probably will set you free and uh, clear some karma. Maybe things will go in the, finally go in the right direction. That makes sense for some of you. So what is this forbidden here about your person or Gemini? The two of wands. So this is fire. Leo Sag Aries doesn't have to be. So, you know, this is about making plans um, for the future. Making, making plans, making decisions about a new path that you're going to take, that you want to take. And planning it very carefully to go in that new direction. And, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is about things going in a better direction. So let's get some clarifiers here. Let's get some clarifiers here. And I mean, okay, so we got forbidden there. So this person here could be dealing with two people and they're trying to decide which one do I choose, you know. You may decide just to take matters in your own hand and change the whole direction of this by confronting them, confronting these secrets and changing the whole dynamic. Because the 10 Wheel of Fortune 10s are about endings. So you may choose, you know, tell them, you know, you need to choose me or them. Or, you know, however this works here. So we get the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is abandonment, feeling lonely, left out in the cold, neglected. 
So yeah, you may just, with the five of pentacles there, just turn your back and leave them out in the cold here and change the whole dynamic here, which will release you from this karma of being tied to them and change this whole dynamic and get this wheel turning and things will start to move in a better direction for you by concluding this, ending this third party situation, whether you're stuck in a third party or you know they are, so deciding you know what, I'm ending this or you need to end it or whatever here. So let's see what the two of wands is here now for forbidden. I'm thinking that you're the third person and you may be giving them the ultimatum here to choose you or the person they're with. You know, and maybe they think you don't know that you're a third person, but you do. Because something may have come to light here with the wheel, um, the moon. And you see how bright that wheel of fortune is. It almost looks like the sun energy, which is about enlightenment. Things coming to light. So this is very bright in the moon, you know, so something came to light for you, whether um, somebody said, you know, I've seen them with another person or whatever here. So you may be giving them the ultimatum here and then you might just decide to, you know, it is a ladybird, but spread your wings and fly and go in a whole new direction. So why is the two of wands, yeah, the ten of wands, you know, ten again with an ending, very burning some ending here. So they may decide, you know, your person may decide, look, I can't do this anymore and end it with you if you're a third party and making a decision between two because maybe you're somebody forbidden and maybe they feel, you know what, I just can't do it anymore. And so they end it with you. And that's why you feel left out in the cold because they finally told you, you know, if you didn't know that you were a third party or something like that, they finally told you. But the Wheel of Fortune is here. So we got ending here, ending here with two tens. So I feel like as much as you felt like you were fated and destined to be with this person by them releasing you or you releasing them, however it works here, and ending and concluding this chapter, things are going to get better for you. Things will move in the right direction. You'll be released of all this karma. This is like the Wheel of Fortune moving in the right direction, clearing all that karma out and uh, better things to come for you in the future. So let's get the actual situation here. Wow. All right, so we got the three of wands. So there's that third party. But then we got the Hierophant. So, so far we got Sagittarius. A lot of fire energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. Sagittarius here. Pentacles, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. And we got wands again. Now we got the High Priestess. Wow. So the three of wands again with the third party. Leo Sagittarius doesn't have to be. You know, this is like waiting, waiting for that ship to come in, waiting for them to maybe just commit to you or, you know, waiting for their ship to come in. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting, you know, third party, being a third party or whatever here and just waiting, waiting, waiting. And here's the Hierophant. I mean, they could be married. Taurus energy here. So they could be married to somebody else and you're like waiting for them to leave this person and I don't think they will. I think they may release you and choose to stay with the person they're with because they just see you as someone forbidden and they just can't do it anymore or vice versa. However here, because that's right in the middle of your spread. I mean, it's about commitment, doing what's moral, just and right, value, um, and that sort of energy. And it also can be, you know, wise counsel, uh, teacher, leader, somebody of wise value, faith, spirituality, it's all that kind of energy. But now we have the high priestess energy, Cancer Pisces. So yeah, that's about secrets. The high priestess, I mean, they do listen to their gut, their intuition, they're divinely connected. They know a lot, but they don't speak. They keep a lot of secrets. So I feel like, yeah, they were keeping you as a secret. And they were married or committed to somebody else. Third party here. Wow. Okay. It's either you or them. However the situation resonates for you, Gemini. So let's get a couple more to clarify the situation for Gemini. The Six of Pentacles energy. So this is like the minor of the Justice card for me. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So wanting, I mean, you're wanting equal reciprocation from them. You want it to be balanced. 
know, maybe it was a fight to get attention from them because sometimes, I mean, they have all these pentacles behind them and they only can give you one, one little pentacle because all their pentacles are invested behind them somewhere else. And I usually take the six of pentacles as, as a very um, balanced kind of energy, but in a situation like this, I mean, some do consider this the breadcrumbing card where they're just giving you breadcrumbs. And what do chickens eat? Breadcrumbs. So, <laughs> so I feel like, yeah, I feel like they were just giving you one little pentacle. That's all they could give you. And you could see behind them. You could see behind them everything that was invested behind them, what they had. So some of you knew you were a third party and some of you didn't. All right, so let's see. Or your person, again, like however this resonates for you. So let's get one more here. The hanged man. Yeah, things on a pause, on a break. Things aren't moving forward. Nobody's taking any action. Cancer Pisces energy here again. So again, you know, they're kind of stuck between you and their person or whatever here, uh, you or them, however this resonates for you. Somebody's stuck with, between two people and not taking any action, just like they don't know what to do. So I think the other person's going to say, you know what, I'm done. And they may just end it with the Ten of Wands, turn their back, leave the other out in the cold and things in their life are going to release all that karmic energy will release and things are going to move forward for you for the better because that wheel is going to turn in your favor once you release this uh energy here oh gemini i don't know who's stuck in this if it's you your person i don't know your advice the king of cups energy cancer scorpio pisces so there is love I mean, you are in love with this person or they are in love with you. That's your advice. But the King of Cups is knowing, you know, it's time, maybe time just to love yourself and value yourself, have compassion for yourself, forgiveness, peace, harmony. And the King of Swords, yep. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that's your energy. And I had just said that, love yourself. And here comes <laughs> Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Since we're talking about you, Gemini, it's Gemini. So loving yourself. It's time to love yourself. Cutting away things no longer serving you. Speaking with truth um, and honesty. Not taking any BS. Standing up for yourself. And loving yourself. All right, so... Let's get more for your advice here for Gemini. The tower, yep. So you may confront this person and say, look, this is Aries, doesn't have to be, but say, you know, you know what, I can't do this anymore. It may come as a shock to you, your person, whatever here, maybe a shock. So there'll be a blow up here, confrontation, or just <sighs> causing an ending here, breakdown, saying, look, I can't do it anymore. Closing a tower moment of some kind. Six of Cups. So, you know, I mean, this could be a soulmate, but it could be a karmic soulmate because we have the Wheel of Fortune there. So, I mean, they could even have a family and you're just like on the sidelines there looking and like, you know, I'm not part of this family. I'm just, you know, on the sidelines here. I have all my cups there. And they have all their cups there. So, I mean, you could be, you could have known this person for a very long time or known them from your childhood, first job, college kind of energy. Thinking back on the good times, maybe you do have children with this person for some of you. But that could talk of even having past lives with this person. Definitely soulmate energy there. So the energy there is, is there for love and soulmate energy, but... I don't see this person taking any action to change the situation. I don't know. So somebody here needs, I feel like, will end a situation. Because we have six over here. Six to me is a very healing, balancing number. So I feel like for you, Gemini, or whatever, if you need to end it or uh, you need to tell your person 
to end their situation so you can balance your relationship back at, out again and try to heal it. Um, and just bring into light all the secrets. And being very truthful. I mean, that's up to you. Or you could be deciding, you know, I can't be a third party anymore. And loving yourself enough to end it. So however, however this works for you. All right, Gemini. Let's get a possible outcome here. Possible outcome here for you, Gemini. Possible outcome here for Gemini. Wow. My stomach's growling. I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> oh, we have the King of Pentacles. So, wow. So, we have a lot of energy here. So, we got three kings here. Male, female. Doesn't matter. All different suits. So, yeah, there is definitely third party here. We have three different energies. So, <sighs> King of Pentacles. I mean, that is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Because we do have Virgo there. So, some of you... If you're dealing with two people, you may decide to drop one and go with a uh, earth sign. Or some of you, if your person is dealing with um, you in an earth sign, they may decide on the earth sign. I don't know here. But this all also is about stability, growth, expansion, self-worth and value, being stable and grounded. So your outcome is being stable and grounded or you will choose a virgo or an earth sign if you're dealing with two people maybe you're seeing for some of you maybe you are seeing a couple people and you don't know who to choose and finally you're just going to commit to one um and it could be the earth sign or some of you are stuck in a third party situation um and that could be you just telling this earth sign you know what nope no more but that also is having your own stability, growth, expansion on your own, valuing yourself. So let's clarify that. King of Pentacles, why is that here? Your possible outcome. Ten of Swords, yeah. So some of you could be definitely ending it here with an earth sign and knowing your value, your worth, and knowing you're worth more than that. Ten of Swords, air. So that's your energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So a very painful, hurtful ending. Just completion, ending. It's over. It's done. So someone could be deciding to end it with you or you're deciding to end it, end a situation. It could be with an earth sign or earth sign could decide to end it with you, however it works for you. And strength. Yeah, needing strength. This is Leo. doesn't have to be, but needing strength, dignity, courage, being brave, knowing you are strong enough to get through this persevering on um it also talks about willpower and you know taming the beast from within if you feel like you don't have the strength to end this this is telling you yes you do know your self-value and worth that you are strong enough to end this and if something someone is ending it with you that you are strong enough to get through it things will start to turn in your favor here with the wheel of fortune Oh, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the two of pentacles. So juggling a lot of energy around right now. Could be juggling around two people, trying to make a decision, you or them, what to do here. Seven of wands, being very defensive and on guard uh, about the situation, whatever it may be for you. Having to defend yourself in some way. And then we have temperance. So Sagittarius energy here doesn't have to be, but this is about... Balance, peace, harmony, um, patience, having patience. And usually, you know, the temperance angels usually brings the soulmates back together. So if your person did have somebody and you confronted them and they ended it, I know I see here things can probably heal, you know, good luck here with the rainbow. Things can probably temper out and heal and come back together with patience, time and love and understanding and compassion and moving you know in a better direction here so either with your person or alone you'll be balancing energies out moving in a better direction leaving all the bs behind and sailing away either alone or together in a more peaceful harmonious um space and again so now we have the king and queen of pentacles so we have a matching couple here so definitely soulmate. There is soulmate energy here, especially with that Six of Cups. So there are definitely 
soulmates here. The King and Queen of Pentacles energy. So, yeah, so whether or not, you know, you decide to work things out with your person after they end it, and things go in a much better direction, or, you know, you decide on one person here and it is your soulmate, could be this earth sign, or, um, I just lost my train of thought. Yeah, a lot of different scenarios. Some of you are deciding on two people. I feel like the earth sign is your soulmate. Some of you are stuck in a third party situation. You may be ending it with an earth sign or your person may have a third party and you know, you may tell them to end it and they do and things go in a much better direction. You heal the whole situation and you move forward. A lot of peace, harmony and healing energy. Having, you know, with the King and Queen of Pentacles, if you're not both Earths, well, obviously you're an air sign, but being more stable and grounded moving forward. So however, like three scenarios, however this works for you, because, you know, Six of Swords go in a better direction, balance, peace, harmony, patience, you know, defending, being on guard, maybe for some of you and juggling things around on how to work this situation out, whatever it is for you. Wow. A lot of energy there, a lot of different scenarios. So you take it however it resonates. And you're, if you're feeling like one of these situations is your situation and you don't know how to move forward, whatever uh, situation I described here, you should probably follow that advice. Do what's right for you. Oh, okay. Gemini. So... Gemini, I do ask if you like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. I do four readings a month. I do a love connection reading. I do a singles reading who's coming towards you. I do a general tarot forecast. Sometimes it's love, sometimes not. I do a spirit messages, what you need to know from spirit at this time. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you. And a quick shout out to all those who have supported the channel, whether you subscribed, donated, or reached out for personal reading. Thank you, thank you. All your support really does mean a lot to me. Couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you for the support, helping the channel grow, getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. Without your support, the channel would not grow. It would not circulate. It would not get out to the people that need to hear them. So the more you like, share, subscribe, and all that great stuff, the more YouTube will circulate the channel and the messages. So please keep that in mind. And I do ask that you check the description box below for any and all information you need, how to book a personal reading, social media, decks I'm using, uh, past Gemini playlists are all down there. Please do go check that out and thank you. So, whew, that being said, wow, let's get some extra messages for you, Gemini. So we have Our Lady of Comfort here, which is seven. Seven is a very divinely guided number. And we have... The Wheel of Fortune there, which is all about divine guidance, fate, destiny, things going in your favor. I think spirit, I think the universe, I think divine energy has your back and will be there for you to comfort you moving forward. So really listen to your gut, your intuition, try to stay connected, pray, meditate, uh, whatever you do here. Uh, pay attention to signs, symbols, music, uh, repetitive things. I think are all messages from above if you're getting that. They're trying to comfort you, to give you messages, how to move forward in your situation. And it's all divinely guided with seven there. Listen to your heart. And what else do we have here? Our Lady of Radiant Grace, 33. So you may want to look up angel number 33. And a lot of threes here again. So third party here. So if you're stuck, if you were stuck in a third party or your person had you in a third party, whatever here, that you still have this radiant grace about you to still be graceful through this, that you can radiate this positive, uh, vibrant energy to remain positive, not think any less of yourself because of this situation. Um, so let's see, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Our Lady of Sacred Union. So 37 here, which is 10. Tens are about endings. And then one, we have a new beginning. So for some of you, you will be mending and moving forward. And a Sacred Union, I do feel like this is your soulmate. 
or the person you choose is your soulmate and it will be a sacred union. If for some of you, you're trying to decide between two, if you're just dating, some of you stuck in a third party, I think you'll be ending it with one to be with your soulmate or you're going to tell your soulmate to end their third party and you will heal and mend and move forward. It'll be in a much better place moving forward. So a lot of different things there. Follow your heart. Do what's best for you. And I hope this helped you. Gemini. Phew. Okay. Gemini. Good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is I shine my light so I can shine your light. So don't ever, ever forget to shine your light.